Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Amirul Azri Bizuka 9 from GRM 1102A. And my ID is 201928274. So right now I want to present and discuss about my topic which is communication skills between physician insight and parents perceptions in learning at KSA. By this topic, we want to analyze the communication skills between physicians and patients. There are some survey that has been done and the data were obtained uh, by, by a selected group from physicians and parents. According to this survey, there are some different uh, response in this uh, that are given. In terms of the parents' perceptions, they give a lowest mark to a few uh, doctors or physicians because they because they notice that uh, some physicians are lack of communication and they really and they don't know how to communicate with the patients. So, <clears throat> for so for the next slide about the introduction of this topic. There are important elements or aspects that the physician have to take a look, which is the verbal and non-verbal uh, contact with a patient. The physician also must have the abilities to communicate with the patient's parents. Why? Because by this interact by this interaction uh, the physician able to make a good relation with the with their parents and make them trust with physicians but there are some uh, countries uh, especially at the middle east such as arab arab saudi and they are not uh, really take a look serious about these terms because they think that the communications are really not important for them. So they provide they provide a CAT, CAT machines, <coughs> which mean uh, assessment of tools that uh, evaluate the uh, communicate with the patients. So. The people at the Middle East are really not to satisfy with the service that a uh, uh, physician give. In addition, the physician uh, have to facing the sensitivity of various of uh, group age. So, at this time, at that time. The physician, the physician, uh, have to be smart and make a various communication skills to fulfill the patient needs. So, what the objective of this topic? The objective of this topic is to analyze the experience of uh, physicians and the profession, the perfection, eh, the perceptions of uh, parents. The physicians have to train their communication skills because it will it will make the easier to communicate with the people, especially for their patients, and give the proper communication. So there are some. Uh, main point that we can discuss by this topic which is first is a perception of parents to physicians in communication skill with passion like I say there are some uh, parents especially uh, especially for a mother that 
they are really not to enjoy communicate with the physicians because sometimes the physicians uh, talk with them that uh, matters that they don't know what the meaning of that so it will make the the patients not uh, will it will make the, the patients uh, uncomfortable second is a uh, current result uh, show that confidence in cs among the physicians depends on the years of uh, experience of course because uh, the physicians that have that have a uh, experience they they are they are really not have a problem to communicate with the patient they easy to communicate with them but the problem is with the uh, practical physicians why because they had there are some difficult to communicate with the patient because they are not used to speak to communicate with them so they have to uh, train they have to they have to train with the senior that is a comparison between physician inside and perception of uh, physician parents of physicians communication skills based on the survey there are 100 female that are participate and the most of them are uh, biological mothers 70 percent of them uh, disagree uh, critic uh, to uh, physicians because of their lack because of their lack of communication with the patients and the last one is some of high ranking parents uh, such as like a VIP uh, affect their level satisfaction with their physician uh, physicians with their physicians such as uh, they they fussy with their with their environment such as uh, the facility the service and others so when this happen it will make the physicians uh, lose their confidence and it will make and also it will make them hard to communicate with their patient so the conclusion of this topic is the KSA have to take a look and serious with the problems and solve as soon as possible. Why? Because it will decrease their reputation of KSA. So, my suggestion is KSA have to train their physicians it doesn't matter the the physician has experience or not they have to train because it will help them to communicate with people and also to increase the KSA reputations so that's all for discussion for my topic and my partner will continue with their article Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Imi Muhammad bin Zulihan. Today, I want to present to you about my research on the article review. The title of my article is Science Communication is Needed to Inform Risk Perception and Action of Stakeholders. Okay, first, I want to explain with you about 
about the abstract part in this article. In this abstract part, this article shows us that the stakeholders was a critical environmental manager in help in human dominated landscape. In other words, only the stakeholder has the authority to personally act following their own observation and risk perception instead of science communication. However, the biological invasion need to require to tight controls in order to prevent unwanted things from happening, such as biodiversity losses and species extinction. Biological invasion is a very important to reduce potential socio-ecological impact. While science-based risk assessment are rather complex and time delayed. After that, based on the research in Western Europe, beekeepers controlling the invasive Asian cornet, which is called uh, Vespa velutina nigritorex or uh, Asian bees, for its suspected impact on honey bees colony. They analyze mechanism underlying personal action of stakeholders on how they evolve in science. However, personal action that has been taken by the stakeholder are because of the consequences that happen based on their observation and research results. Unfortunately, the action does not connect to science give to bad impact or results on numerous species of the local entomofauna. Okay, next I want to explain about the introduction part in this article. Based on the introduction based on the introduction part in this article, we can understand that the stakeholder can be concluded as a environmental manager who affected by decision and action that they take and they also have the power and authority to change action as we all know biological invasion left a negative impact on worldwide such as biodiversity loss and species extinction that may threaten economy and public health so the stakeholder needs to find a way to prevent the causes so they have implied the three ways to prevent it, which is preventing the invention from occurring. First step is reducing the impact magnitude or repairing the damage, for example, like restoration program. This program requires all the stakeholders to work together in order to make this happen. After, all, after that, it tells us that risk perception is determined by different social and environmental factors affecting individual. Risk, percep risk perception consists in the importance that individuals give to, a, to an at-risk situation. Based on the case of humans, someone's per perceptions of an environmental risk will vary according to their relation to nature. But the different case is based on the different perceptions. Not all the perception is the same. Based on their study on Western Europe, European beekeeper controlling the invasive of Asian hornet or Vespa velutina nigritorex, or which is a famous name, is a yellow lake hornet for its suspected impact to their professional activity. This species is rapidly increases across most of the French territory. Based on this study also, they concluded that Asian hornet catches foraging western honeybees at the beehive entrance during the critical pre-wintering season for honeybee colonies and therefore may represent an additional risk factor involved in the winter mortality of currently weekend bee colony. Based on the research also, Western honeybees are currently suffering collapse disorder and this scenario need to be addressed immediately. So, they take the op opportunity to figure it out and increase the quality of honeybees in Western Europe. They have choose a safety step which is 
the use of passive threat with homemade syrup or poison with insect insectica bait was the most effective way that has been that has been used to control the invasive of Asian hornet. Therefore, Western European had followed their observation or research about a perception on Asian hornet and they have do some tests to improve it for a better ways. And last is they also make a discussion about a way to evoke to avoid unwanted things from happening again. Okay, we move to the objective part in this article. The objective the objective in this in this article is firstly is they want to prevent a biological invasive from happening. So they need to find a ways and effective alternative to avoid it from happening. The stakeholder also need to pay an attention on this scenario. They are also responsible to avoid the biological invention in their country or district. This program need a lot of paperwork to do. Based on their research, they have, they have find our way. They have find a way to prevent a biological invention. There are a lot of negative impact if biological invasion ha happen, such as like I told before, such as the negative impact is uh, such as biodiversity losses and species extinction. So the management has established the policy. Following scientific risk assessment recommendation and prior and and prior to stakeholders' opinion based action. The choice of the management plan depends on the invasion stage and the results from risk assessment studies. Nevertheless, assess, assessing the, pos, the potential risk of a newly introduced alien species is extremely complex and time-consuming. It depends on a combination of co-evolutionary processes. Population dynamics such as Population dynamics, com population dynamics, complex interspecific relationship, abiotic changes, and anthropogenic impact. So, the main objective in this article is to fight biological invention that will threaten a world, especially public. In this paragraph, they also implemented a science program at a national scale to record to record its invention range which is effective way to protect bad things from happen. So a web a web platform has been created by the French National Museum of National History that inviting people to register the observation associated with a picture to prove that the identity of Asian Hornet and the location of the observation. Okay, we move to the discussion part in this article. Okay, back to, to back to this article, they had mentioned about the biological invention that occurred in Western Europe, which is the Asian hornet. They want to control the invasive of Asian hornet in the Western Europe. So the responsible party or stakeholder should take an effective steps to address the problem which is to improve the quality of honeybee and how to take care of it. For example, they use the mechanism such as beehive model to address the risk of or probability or probability of honey honeybee colony mortality related to Asian hornet production. But their purpose is to purpose but their purpose is to control this invasion as a many perception and opinion from different individuals. Such as I said before, individual has a has has not have a same perception. They have a different opinion and decisions. Individual's opinion and perceptions are not the same. Okay. In this discussion pass. They have told us before that they have implemented a way or an or a alternative to prevent the invasive 
of acid hornet. So they have used the way as they created the model that was calibrated following the Becher at all, which is the foundations, batches, uh, which is the, the foundations name. In 2014, initial colony settings for which four key colony parameters were modified to increase to increase the so the stochasticity is the pre, is the prediction and to improve representatives of real field condition variability variability they also stated that this action have a risk and they need to consider that science communications is related to inform risk perception and and uh, an action of stakeholders they was they want us to understand that science communication is need to need to be considered or or is a very need to inform the risk uh, perception and action of our stakeholders. Last, the most important element that they have discussed in this article is the stakeholders had to manage the environment in human dominated landscape. I ideally following management plans that were previously established by science based environmental policies. So along with the along with, with this they had shown that the beekeeper has their own their own personality act that they can use in order to follow their observation and risk perception and risk perception instead of following the scientific recommendation that were that were time delay the action that they that they take has a risk so that they have to manage and think carefully to make a decision especially if the problems is serious just like the biological invention that have a lot of negative impact last is the conclusion part in this conclusion part they had discussed about the biological invention that occurred in western europe which is the SN hornet scenario they want to control the invasive of acid hornet in the Western Europe. So the responsible party or a stakeholder should take an effective step to address the problem which is to improve the quality of honey and how to take care of it. However, their result help them fill a knowledge gap regarding how personal actions of stakeholders evolve in science science disconnected context in particularly our result their result provide evidence that mutual communication between stakeholders and researchers do before during and after the risk assessment process is one component that needs to be reinforced to ensure its usefulness for biological invention management and policies uh, last but not but not least, involving, involving stakeholders in invasion management programs is central not to not only ensure their success but also can enhance their acceptability and avoid situations where such program result from a single action evolve. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.